Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Here, I'll turn it up. Yes, exactly. That's what I meant in the beginning when I when I said boring. Not boring to me because I love strategic strategic fights because I am a fighter okay, myself. Okay, so Uh huh. But to a crowd of Mexicans who are on their tenth beer, they don't want sure. to see like this, unfortunately. Okay. So let me mute this. This is the guy that um, Virgil Ortiz was supposed to fight tonight. But Virgil Ortiz came down with some type of illness related to dehydration. Bernard Hopkins, before the fight, um, he is the guy in charge tonight. I'm not sure if Eric Gomez is there, but basically he's the one doing the media stuff for Golden Boy. And he's involved in, you know, the promotional aspects and matchmaking. So basically, put it this way, you know, to not be too long winded, it's looking like Virgil Ortiz is done with 147 pounds or should be done you know unless he hires a really expensive you know strength and conditioning coach if he doesn't have one already i'm t street controversy with fight view 360. so a late replacement um was brought in to fight mckinson mckinson from the uk but the late replacement ended up weighing 30 pounds over so this guy right here alex martin was uh brought in alex martin let's go take a look at him 17 and 3 with 6 KOs. By the way, oh yeah, this fight can go either way. Don't be surprised if the cards are all funky. This was a shit. Let me tell you something. These are the type of fights where I think to myself, yo, why do I do this shit? It has me questioning, like, bro, am I am I a masochist? You know? Like, like what the fuck am I doing? But anyway, I don't want to see this guy, you know, ever again, Mr. McKinson. I'm sorry. Listen, and Alex Martin, you too. You are not exempt. Your hands are not clean in this. These guys stunk it up. Now, we're seeing these little brief highlights and everything, but let me tell you something. They were so far and few in between. You know, I'm interested to hear these cards, though. But here was Michael McKinson. Now, look at this right here. Ill. Two KOs, 21 and up. Ill. You know, I mean, it's not too much better, but it's, you know, it's still a little bit better. Shy town Oh, let me turn it up. See, I think they're still going to try to make him versus Virgil Ortiz again. I hope not. comfortable decision win on the scorecards again uh, not one that i would have liked to be actively scored did i hear 99 91 you know what he is tell me he is a sacred meal hand me mute that he he's sacred food for virgil ortiz if virgil ortiz somehow gets the boil back down to 147 pounds he shouldn't be in there mates he's a meal and it's time for Virgil Ortiz to start, you know, pursuing the title shot at 147 pounds. Um, looking at the rankings, as you can see. I wonder if they're going to interview this cat. As you can see, Errol Spence is taking on your Dennis Ugas April the 16th for the WBC, WBA, and IBF title. We don't know what um, um, Terrence Crawford's doing. He's still in top rank. We do know that. Virgil Ortiz, number one by the WBO. Virgil Ortiz, number one by the WBC. Does not mean he's the mandatory. He would have to fight Evernessian or maybe Boots Ennis to be either the IBF or the WBC or WBO mandatory. Interesting, right? So, you know, just so happens, you know, he's up there at the top of the division, you know, like inching towards a title shot in, in some very significant fights, whether it's an eliminator or not. And he's having weight issues. Nasty, nasty fight. But that's all I'm going to say about this. I don't even want to see if they're going to have a post-fight interview or not. But I am looking forward to seeing Blair Cobbs hopefully get knocked out. My personal opinion. You know. um, Xander Zayas is in the ring over on top rank. So let me get to this fight. And uh, here was the card so far. I didn't get a chance to see the uh, Evan Sanchez fight. But I did get to see uh, Beck the Bully. Uh, get the knockout win and you know they were trying to talk up him versus Gabriel Rosado too and then of course Michael McKinson just defeated um Alex Martin and now on to the main event I'm T Street Controversy with 5v360 thanks for watching please take your time out like the video and subscribe